long time ago, there were two large kingdoms in the East Java region named the Kingdom of Jengala and the Kingdom of Kediri. The Kingdom of Jengala was led by Raja Jayanagara and the Kingdom of Kediri was led by King Jayangrana. To unite the two countries and avoid war, the two kingdoms established a marriage bond between Panji Asmara Bangun, son of the King of Jengala, and Dewi Sekartaji, the daughter of the King of Kediri. One day, the Jengala kingdom was attacked by an enemy. During the battle, Dewi Sekartaji fled from the palace. She disguised herself as a village girl and lived with a widow with three daughters named Klenting Abang, Klenting Ijo, and Klenting Biru. Dewi Sekartaji was adopted as a child of this family and given the name Klenting Kuning. But Klenting Kuning was not treated well. Every day, she was told to do housework such as washing, cooking, and cleaning the house. Her three stepsisters were very lazy, and they usually just told her to do their chores. Glendi Gunning, wash my clothes. <laughs> wash my scarf too. Okay, sister. <laughs> Eventually, the Jengala kingdom was saved. Panji Asmarabangun had succeeded in defeating his enemies who attacked him. But he was sad because Dewi Sekartaji had left the palace. He was determined to look for her. He told guards to find the whereabouts of Dewi Sekartaji. After a while, a bodyguard reported that he had met a girl who looked like Dewi Sekartaji in a village. Panji Asmara Bangun went to the Dapan village. This village was located next to the village where Klenting Kuning lived. He lived in Bo Randa's house became Bo Randa's adopted child and disguised himself as Ande Ande Lumut who was looking for a wife. News about Ande Ande Lumut looking for a wife spread around town and Klenting Abang, Klenting Ijo, and Klenting Biru dressed as beautifully as they could to propose to Ande Ande Lumut. They didn't forget to wear good clothes. Hey Klenting Kuning, you don't have to come with us, just stay at home. Go to the river and wash all our dirty clothes. Commanded Klenting Biru. They departed and Klenting Kuning went to the river to wash the dirty clothes right away. Suddenly, a crane came and gave her a whip. Go and propose to Ande Ande Lamut so you can meet Panji Asmara Bangun and bring this whip. Said the crane. Klenting Kuning then rushed to Dadapan village. Meanwhile, her mother and three adopted sisters arrived at the riverside. They were confused. None of the boats were visible and there were no bridges. So how could they cross the river? The river was vast, deep and swift. Suddenly, a giant crab named Yuyu Kang Kang appeared. The crab offered to cross the river on the condition they had to kiss the crab. They agreed to that condition. One by one, they climbed onto Yu Yu Kang Kang's back to cross the river. Moments later, Klenting Kuning arrived at the riverside. She also met Yu Yu Kang Kang. Yu Yu Kang Kang offered to help her cross the river with the same condition, that she must kiss him. Klenting Kuning rejected the requirement and forced Yu Yu Kang Kang to help her. Without his conditions met, Yu Yu Kang Kang did not want to help Klenting Kuning. Klenting Kuning lost her patience. She pulled out the whip from the crane and struck the river. Immediately, the river water receded. Yu Yu Kang Kang was scared. Finally, he agreed to help Klenting Kuning cross the river. Klenting Kuning immediately went up onto Yu Yu Kang Kang's back and got to the other side of the river. Her mother and three stepsisters arrived first at Mbo Randa's house. One by one, Klenting Abang, Klenting Ijo, and Klenting Biru showed their beauty to Ande Ande Lumut. However, none of them was chosen because they had kissed Yu Yu Kang Kang. A few moments later, Klenting Kuning arrived at Bo Randa's house. Ande Ande Lumut chose Klenting Kuning as his wife because he knew that Klenting Kuning was Dewi Sekartaji and she was the only woman who hadn't kissed Yu Yu Kang Kang. Ande Ande Lumut revealed his disguise and he told everyone 
that he was Panji Asmara Bangun. Finally, Panji Asmara Bangun and Dewi Sekartaji were reunited and they invited Mbok Randa to stay in the palace as a thank you. In the end, they lived happily ever after.